30 or something, then they want to settle down. Really? Really? After you was in college and you was getting tossed and flipped and pounded all other all types of ways, right? And you really, you really think a man really want to deal with you when your shit is all beat it up, man. Get the fuck out of here. That's why the Lord gonna destroy a lot of you women, and that's why the Lord gonna destroy this, this society, man. Now that spirit is getting pushed all over the world. Twerking and stuff. And it's a damn shame, man. You turn on the computer, okay? You can't even watch TV or, or something about our people. And what they doing? They being a bunch of disgusting people, like uh, women twerking, you know? But they they started, right? The black women, right? And the Latin women dancing in their in rooms and whatnot. But then when Molly Cyrus, a, a no-ass having Caucasians, supposedly tried twerking, then it comes big. That's because y'all a bunch of jokes, man. okay? And everybody thinks of us as jokes, okay? All right? But really, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all the uh, children of God, man, okay? You're kings and, and princes, princesses, man. But everybody think of y'all as jokes, man. And y'all have no respect for yourself. That's why you be on these damn, uh, what's that, world star hip-hop, doing all that type of madness, man. All right? Y'all should have some pride in yourself, okay? Read on. Go to, uh, keep reading that. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 18. In the heart the device of wicked imaginations, and yep. feet, that, feet that be swift, uh, run into mischief. Run into mischief. Get into stuff, man. All right? Huh? That's right. A false witness that speak of lies, and he that sow discord among brother. Yeah, he that sow discord among brother. All right? That's all that's being pushed out here in America. All right? And especially amongst our people. That's why y'all hate each other. All right? But really, that's important to the Bible. Those are curses that was placed on our people because of, of our disobedience. All right? Because we're the children of God. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. I'm talking about that world star. This is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 21. It says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. Holy, a right seed. I'm talking about the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, you Latinos, and Native Americans. You see how JP on the other time? Then they got some reality. Okay. It said, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. A, a holy right seat. Alright. It says, How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? And that's the same thing. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You niggas is degenerate, man. On all levels, man. Degenerate. Go to, uh, go to uh, Isaiah 13, start at the top. We'll read through that and finish up. Alright? hate coming out here, especially around this time of the year. It's, it's, it's so demonic, man. Right? Like you can feel the, the, the heaviness and how demonic it is out here, man. Just stay in the house, man. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 2. Lift up ye, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Now, the banner is the Bible, man. Coming and preaching in the name of Yahweh Bashanel Shah. And truth. Upon the high mountain, which is a, is a represent a major government, which that's America. Because it sits as the highest amongst all the nations. Keep reading. And influence as well as the military might. Exalt the voice unto them. Yeah, you put them on blast, man. Number one, you put them on blast when we bring out this truth. That's why you exalt your voice. Up. We're supposed to lift our voice up, man. All right, keep reading. Shake the hand. Uh huh, shaking the hand. Like when you was little and stuff, and your mom, you did something bad, your mom shaking her hand at you and stuff. All right. That's what we're doing to this place, man. We shake the hand at it, man. All right? 
calling it out because this place is wicked, man. All right, keep reading. That they may go to the gates of the nobles. That's right, and the nobles represent your politicians, man. Which they are, they're preparing, all right, for, uh, for martial law. You had a black woman that's a politician. She said, to get out of that government shutdown, they should bring in martial law. And they already have martial law some on a small uh, front in Chicago because of the gangs wilding out up there shooting, up, shooting at each other. And the deaths up there by the guns, okay? But that's gonna become a norm what you saw up there in Boston, all right? And it's so convenient that the Red Sox, Boston Red Sox won the World Series. How, con how convenient, just like how New Orleans won the Super Bowl after Katrina. That whole sports thing is rigged too. I don't even know why you Jates get all into that shit, man. Okay, keep reading. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have called my mighty ones to my anger, even them that rejoice in my hiders. That's right. The sanctified ones are the prophets, the men of the Lord, the teachers and, and the preachers that come out here and break down the scriptures to you, all right, as it is written, man. Okay? All right? And the mighty ones are the angels, man. And there ain't no floating, uh, uh, charming, Quilton, Charmin, uh, no, Angel Soft. Ain't no Angel Soft naked babies with wings, man. All right, that's blasphemy, man. The angels are mighty, man. And, and they coming back with the, uh, with who you really call Jesus Christ. And they gonna show how mighty they are when they uh, uh, destroy America and destroy NATO. Even them that rejoice in my heart. That's right. The noise of the multitude in the mountains, like like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms and nations gathered together. That's right. That's going into what? These protesting, all right? These people protesting all around the United States and the world, all right? These so-called revolutions and uh, uprisings and revolts amongst the people against their government. That's in the scriptures, okay? That's the tumultuous noise of amongst the nations. Okay, and then the Lord's gathering these, these nations' armies for World War III, and that's in the Bible. Okay, that's why China put out that they they targeting major cities on the West Coast with their uh, their submarine uh, that have nuclear missiles on it, or ICBMs on it. They said they can shoot them off, and they can hit uh, Los Angeles, uh, Seattle. Okay. Um, what was that? Uh, San Francisco destroy all the West Coast with the ICBM thermonuclear missiles. They putting that. They just put that out. And, and Russia just did a trial test of, of their nuclear missiles. So we getting close to this World War Three. And who's stirring that up, King Reader? The Lord of Hosts must be the host of the battle. That's right. The, the same. The Lord of the Bible never changed, man. He's the one behind these nations getting started uh, to, to get into war, okay? You know, and all these people that's protesting against this war, that's futile. You're going to be destroyed, man. The Lord going to destroy you because you're going against his will, man. All right? Let me get some real quick. This is uh, Joel 3 and 9. It says, Pro Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay? So what you're seeing in the news with China and Russia getting ready to shoot their missiles or running trials to prepare to shoot their ICBM thermonuclear missiles, that's, just, that's that scripture right there being fulfilled. And that's the Lord putting the spirit on them to do that, man. You people, you gonna find that out whenever you see the missiles or the warheads come raining on you, man. In a glorious fashion. Burn you up.